All right, guys, this is Becky at Aunt Bex Creations, and let's talk inchies, okay? On my Facebook group, we are going to do an inchy swap where you send me, you will make five sets of inchies, and in that set, you'll have one inchy that's red, one orange, one yellow, one green, one violet, I mean blue, one violet, which is purple. Um, you'll have one of each color, and you will send me four sets. You will keep one set that you made yourself, just so you'll have a set of your own to go with the four sets from other Aunt Bex Creations viewers and followers, okay? So you'll make five sets total of one of each, okay? And when you send them to me, you will attach them with some kind of temporary adhesive on a tag. It can be a, it can be an actual tag. It can just be a piece of cardstock that the inches will all fit on. So if you made there's six, you'll have six inches in each little package. So you'd only need a, maybe a four by four square would be good. Um, or even a, a two by four, a two by four square, a rectangle. That's what you need. To, and on the back of it, before you attach the inches, put your name, your YouTube channel, and just the state you're from. Just so the ones that get yours will know. When I get everybody that wants to participate in, I will create a set from four different people and send them back to you. So the four sets you send to me will go to other people. You won't get a set of your own back. That's why it's very important to put your name and the state you're from on the back. Also, when you send them to me, I want you to make sure your address is very clear. You can even include it inside um, on a separate piece of paper just so it doesn't you know, arrive messed up on your envelope. If you include it with a note, on the inside that'd be awesome that way when I get enough to create a set for you I can go ahead and send them back and I will keep a list of who all wants to participate and this is just for fun and it's for the people that follow me on Facebook so if you look up Aunt Bex Creations on Facebook and request to join and you watch my videos all the time just and I'll click you through how about that what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, how this will be a real time video. So it's going to be rather long, I'm sure. But I'm going to show you how to create mass produced um, inches. OK, so what I have is these are the dividers that come between Fancy Feast cat food. OK. These are what I'm going to use for my inches. I've got a, one of the dividers for each color. So I'll make one whole sheet red, one orange, one yellow, one green, one blue, one purple. You see? And then I'll cut them up. I don't try to decorate just a one inch square. No, 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 no. Um, you can add things to it after you cut it out. But I'm going to show you how I do, do um, them. And we'll just do one color real time and then I'll go ahead and I'll do all the other colors and then we'll cut them out together okay so let's start with red all right let's get started um, you can start with anything you want this is going to be a mixed medias and I have some bits of book page that I used on another project and I just saved my trimmings so I'm going to use some of it on here. I may even use some scraps of um, scrapbook paper just to get me some texture down. And since this is my red, um, my red themed inches, I may just use some red papers like this and just, you just tear them. I'm not going to, I don't have a big space, so I don't need very many. And I'm just going to attach them with some paper, Mod, Mod Podge for paper. 
that I got on clearance at Wall, um, a Walmart market. For some reason, they had Mod Podge in there. So, and for two dollars, I said I can use it. Now, if you want to, you can um, prime your your cardboard if you want to uh, with gesso, but. I'm not because it's going to have so many layers on it. It's not going to be a problem. So I'm just going to cover this up with these bits of paper. Need to remember to grab some of the this paper as well. You can use washi tape if you want to. And don't worry if it goes over the edge of your, your cardboard. You can trim it away later. Okay, I'm maybe having some camera trouble, but we'll see if it'll stay playing now. It clicked off for some reason. It might need to be charged. I don't know. And it doesn't matter how big your paper is, because remember, this is all going to get chopped up into little one inch squares and it'll curl and carry on because it's just a thin cardboard. Now I'm probably using way too much Mod Podge. Alright, I had some camera issues and I'm hoping charging it will alleviate our issues. And I went ahead and I put the bits on all the colors. So, and this is what they look like before they're trimmed up. You got little bits hanging off. So this is orange. There's yellow. It's green and blue. And just finished the purple. So. I trimmed the red down, you know, all the little bits that were hanging off. I trimmed it all down. And so now I'm going to just grab two shades of the red. I'm going to go with my darkest and my lightest. Actually, I'll do my darkest and the medium red I have. Because I might need the light color to do um, stenciling and stuff. And this one's not open. And all I'm going to do is just cover this in paint right now. I don't know where, there they are. My little fussy cutting scissors have a nice sharp point to get this plastic started. Since that pinching position on my hands doesn't want to work. And I'm just going to dot some colors. and then spread it around with a makeup sponge. I also pulled out some white paint just for accenting. We might end up with some pink bits, but that'll be okay. It'll still be in the red family. And see, if I had gessoed the board, you wouldn't be seeing the kind of dark areas where the cardboard is. But I'm not worried about that. I just mainly want to get some color on here. And I want to kind of keep them in the color family so that they look really, really red you know, orange, yellow, green, blue, and the purple. Alright, so I'm just going to grab one of these little stencils out. A 
let's do some dots for now. And I'm going to do them in white. I'm going to put a little white on my mat. baby wipe and just kind of knock off the worst of this so that my stencil don't get all clogged up. Baby wipes are amazing tools. Alright, I'll set that aside to dry a little bit. Alright. I might get some black and use a different stencil and then I'll layer back over with some red. Let's do this little guy with some black. Let me grab some black real quick. Oops. And if you had like um, red tissue, you could put a layer of red tissue down. Um, and that would give you, you know, another texture to your inchies. And I think I'm going to put this in the areas where I didn't put the white drops. Maybe overlap them just a little bit. Always tap off your sponge if you can a good bit because you only want a little paint because if you get too much, then it goes underneath and you end up with the solid color showing up. And if you don't reload and you just move your stencil, you'll get a different shade. Okay, so there's that sponge for that one. Sponge for that one. Wipe the stencil off a little bit. Alright, we might ought to try to dry this a little bit. And then we'll do some more marking and stuff. And you can see it really curled up with the glue, with the Mod Podge, and now it's flattening back out. And that's just fine. You want to pull out your larger stencils you can um, I'm gonna pull out the spiral if I can it's not wanting to come out of my little it's ripping my storage. Might have to trim this down a little bit. Let's do that right now so that it'll fit back in here better. 
I'm just going to cut some of this stencil away just so that it'll fit in my little mini photo album a little better. There. All right. And now I'm just going to put some of this on, but I'm going to use um, this Lumiere's um, metallic if I can get it open. And I think I'll just dab out of the lid. And then maybe dab off onto my mat a little bit. Okay. I'm just going to move it over here. Just dabbing off on the mat, just so I don't have a big old puddle of paint on here. I debated whether to come on and do this live, but then I said, no, I'll do live on Wednesday. All right. I'm going to turn this a little bit just so I can kind of fit it in between the two that I've already put on there. Remember, this is just your background. Once we cut it into inches, then you can decorate your inches any way you want. You can put glitter glue around the outer edge. You can add sequins, you can add rhinestones, you can add whatever you want to them. So put this one in here. Stick one more here. And you know what? You don't even have to worry about whether it's absolutely perfect because you're going to cut this into one inch squares. So basically, if you think about it, you're creating your very own ugly fabric that all quilters know that if you buy an ugly fabric, you can turn it pretty by just cutting it smaller. <laughs> Okay, so one more little thing here on this corner. So we have some dots on it. And here comes Trouble, named Tippy. All right. So you can add more if you want to, but I think this is a good enough background for the inches. And what I will do is let this dry completely while I work on the other ones and then we'll come back and I'll decide then if I want to add anything more before I cut them into inches or not okay because right now I'm really liking just leaving it like this okay so that's how we get a background I'll be right back in a little bit here Okay, I got the backgrounds are ready. Um, I'm just going to leave them to dry overnight. And so I'll come back on in the morning. Um, well, not in the morning after Scott goes to work. But anyway, I'll come back on when these are dry. Um, they're really quite wet right now uh, with the circles and stuff. I did go back on the red one and I added some red circles, but I also added some black uh, stamped rose roses on there so these are the backgrounds I'll cut them up into one inch squares 
So I'm going to get a whole bunch of inches out of these six. And this is just the recycled cardboard from the cat food. All right, you can use cereal boxes if that's what you have um, or anything like that. Ouch, Tippy's wanting attention. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> All right, I'll let you guys go. Bye. All right, guys, this is the best setup I can get because the, the safety guard on this kind of blocks what I'm doing. So I'm going to probably end up um, losing some of the light. All right, I trimmed this to exactly five inches wide. So what I'll do is I'll set it at four. And cut an inch off. All right, so there's one strip, and then we move down to three. Three. And down to two. And one, if I can get it in here. Let's see. Now, if you don't have a cutter, you can just mark mark off a grid on the back to cut out with scissors. All right, so now we've got five strips, and we're going to in turn, let's see, let's make, let's trim this down to seven, and so you'll have just a, a little teeny piece like that that's a little bit less than a half an inch, save those and you can use them on some other project. All right, so we'll move this down to six, five, and four, and three, And let's see if I can see the one. Um, I can't really see that, so I'm not going to attempt that. What I will do is you get one, two, three, four, five. What I can do is lay one of these on top of this. And then just cut. Let's do it this way so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to lay them on top like so. And then I'll just cut along it. All right. So you get seven. So seven times five is 35, right? So I'll get 35 inches out of one sheet so I'll have 35 green and and so on so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up into the inches and then I'll come back and we'll decorate some all right this is just a little um, clip here to show you what I ended up with I got the stack of red orange yellow green blue and then these are the violet or purple and they're still a little damp because I got the paint kind of thick on them. But you see when you cut them up, you get just little bits of the bigger design. Like here's an orange one that had the butterflies on it. And you get two very different little things. So then you take these and decorate them. And we'll do that in the morning. Um, I probably will do that in the morning while Scott is sleeping. And it'll just be a quiet video with me adding stuff because he'll be sleeping, okay? So I'll be back in the morning.